If you want to be of service to others, you have to put yourself first. Guys, I've just spent the last 30 minutes with a young doctor who's really burnt out. He's only been at the hospital a couple of years, but he's struggling big time. He's already noticed in that short period of time that his sleeping patterns have changed, his eating patterns have changed, he's not making time for exercise, he's not making time for friends, he's not really making time for any sort of fun in his life. He said he just comes to work, he works long shifts, he goes home, he drinks a couple of beers and tries to get some sleep, and then he returns the next day and does it all over again. And this young doctor's wondering why he's struggling. Guys, any of us who work in the caring professions, we're at great risk of burnout and empathy or compassion fatigue. It's absolutely vitally important that we take care of ourselves. We need to be managing our own life and taking care of ourselves emotionally, spiritually, psychologically, physically. We need to be ticking all these boxes. And if we don't, we're going to have problems psychologically, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. So it's really essential that we put our self-care regime in place and make sure with regular reflection that we're actually making time to get out into the world, get out into the beautiful environments, um, go for walks, spend time with family, engage in positive relationships, have positive energy in our life. I certainly want to be able to help people who are grieving for many years to come. And if that's true, then my number one priority has to be my well-being. Because if I'm not on the top of my game, I'm not going to be much good to anyone else. Same applies to you. So make sure that you have a self-care regime in place. Uh, Reflect on it regularly. Check it regularly. Make sure that there's nothing going amiss, that you're not paying too much attention in one area and not enough attention in another area. It's really important. Guys, have a blessed day. I'll see you next time.